Hi all, it's Rick Rosendahl and today we're going to look at uh, how the router workshop can help you in the workshop. Uh, to start with, uh, we want to talk about 183 episodes of the router workshop spanning over, oh, probably 15 years and uh, there's uh, 183 episodes I say at uh, 30 minutes per episode. And in each episode, we sort of explain a specific technique. And today what we're going to look at is putting the illusion of feet on a base for a small box. So, without further, let's watch me. Uh, now, that's a long time ago. Uh, but anyways, let's, uh, let's watch me show you how to put feet on a small box. You've made sure that it is still unplugged because we aren't finished setting it up yet. Let's put the fence on. The fence, what we're going to do now is isolate the bearing so just the cove part of the tool is. To start with, we need to put one clamp off onto the outside here, lock it down in place. And we're going to take a piece of material here and just isolate the bearing so it's at the same as the out feed and the in feed. So we'll work, because we're cutting straight pieces, we don't really need that bearing. We'll clamp it down. Another good tip is, if you're using this and you want this so it's not exposed because your, your sleeves can get caught up in it, we'll just flip it around so you can use it better. It gives you a clearer shot of what's going on. Let's check again to make sure that we're there. It's not quite set up, so we're going to micro adjust it just a little bit more of the bit. We have the bit exactly where we want. We're using as the center of the bit the, the, the nut that's on the top of it. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the top of this piece of poly. And the only reason I'm using tape is, is because I can't draw on the poly very well. So I'll put the tape on here. And what I'm going to do is, is find the center of the bit. There's a couple different ways of doing that. What you can do is take a, a square block of material similar to, uh, to a, a square and just transfer the information to the top. Once you've located the center now, we want to know how big the feet are going to be. We're going to offset it with the block of wood here, three quarters of an inch, off either side of the line. From this side of the line, we're just going to put a line on the out feed. And on the other side, we're going to put a line on the in feed. Now, the cut we want to make is on the inside of the pieces. So we're going to put the start at the out feed. So I'm just going to put start on this. That way, I, when I go ahead and do more than one, I can't get mixed up and put it the other way around. And I'll put the stop on the bottom part, or the in-feed side. Now I know where to start and where to stop. We're going to now take the block of wood that we're using, which is completely square in this case. So what we need to do is we need to get on the router bit somehow. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a stop block, which allows us to get on and off it without any problems. It's going to give us some support before we get started on it. To do that, if you notice the block, it's got a little cord edge cut on it. If the dust goes in there, it doesn't trap you so that it changes your dimension. So let's just put that in place and put a clamp on it, tighten it down. And that allows us now to lean up against this stop, tip it in to get started, make the cut, and stop at the line. Don't run right through because that's what's going to give you a problem. So you've got to remember to hit the stop line. And there is only four of these, so we'll go ahead and do that. It's unplugged. We're going to move it away. Let's check it to make sure that it's clear of the tool. No problem. OK, let's go ahead and cut it. OK, the first cut we're going to make is we're going to lean up against the start, start block, tip it into the tool, and move it to the line that says stop, and then move it off, and then go on to the next one. Let's start it up here. A little more speed. All right, lean it up against the piece and stop it on the line. Move it over to the next one. And now you see the illusion of feet. Just by looking at the start stop area, you've got the illusion of the two ends or the feet of it. I'll just turn it on the edge there so you can see it. And there we are. We've got the illusion of feet on the uh, small box that you're going to do for your craft sales. You just added that much 
uh, image to your to your project and uh, again the router workshop is teaching how to do that with your router there's 183 episodes at over 30 minutes per episode at one a week going through to you will show you a variety of different ways to use the router uh, it's more than just a roundover tool it's probably the most important tool to you so join us at uh, www.routerworkshop.com and uh, let's watch the router workshop together have a good time thanks